This is the Conway KW310 OBD2 scan tool for cars. Let's take it out of the box. The dreaded check engine light in your car. That goes on, it usually means trouble. But it may be as simple as a loose gas cap. Well, if you've ever dealt with that and you really don't have any experience with cars or anything like that, you can bring your car to the mechanic and he's going to give you a price that you're not going to like, no matter what it is. As fair as he is, he's still got to make money. Um, not that you would necessarily fix it yourself, but at least this way you would know you're not going to get ripped off. So what am I talking about? A lot of people tell you that you can bring your car, if you have a check engine light on, you can bring your car to your local auto parts store and they'll hook a scan tool up like this and read the codes out for free. But they can't reset the codes on your car. Uh, the tool is capable of it, but they're not going to do it for you because they need to leave that data there. Did you know that a lot of times you can get a check engine light and there's actually nothing wrong? It was just a minor, minor issue that the car's computer sensed. Well, instead of having to drive to the, the auto parts store with that light blaring you in the face, now you can do it yourself for very, very little money. This is a very basic, very basic, inexpensive OBD2 scan tool four buttons and an LCD screen and plugs into the connector in your car. You can do everything the guys at the auto parts store can do and this way you don't have to drive there. Also when you go to the auto parts store the reason why they will scan your car for free is maybe they could sell you something after reading what code it is. So this way instead of being pushed around by salespeople you can read the code out yourself and find out what the trouble might be. But it does a lot more than that as well. This will also read out the uh, I am readiness monitors in your car. If you do have a persistent check engine light and you have, let's say, a PO420 code, which is common in older vehicles regarding the catalytic converter, you can still pass your yearly safety inspection with a tool like this if you do it at the right time. Oftentimes you can reset the code in your car and drive around for a bit and then bring it back in to be inspected. The light will still be off and you can pass your yearly inspection. The light's going to come back on you but if you're okay with that, not having to spend five, six, seven, even over a thousand dollars you know, to replace a catalytic converter, then hey, this would be the way to go. So let's go bring this out to the car and see what it can do for us. So now in the car, if you have a push button, do not step on the brake. It's usually two presses until all the lights on the dashboard light up. If you have a traditional key, it's usually two clicks forward, but don't start the engine. Now it's a little tough in the car to get a good shot for you. As you see, there's a lot of reflections in that, but you can see the screen is backlit in green. So basically it says, Enter for menu, escape for setup. Let's go to setup first. You can change the language, the contrast of the screen, and the unit of measure. I'll press enter to go in, and we'll go right to diagnostics. Now what it's doing is it's figuring out the uh, appropriate protocol. It says erase previously stored data to save data from this test. We'll say yes. And there we are. Right here, hopefully you can see this well, it said that the malfunction indicator was off, which is your check engine light, and it asked what control module. Usually the first one is all you need. We can hit read codes. There shouldn't be any. Stored or pending codes, so we'll do stored. It says there are no stored pending codes. There are no pending. So we'll go back. And to go back, you just press escape and enter. So it's like back and forward, up and down. If you had codes, you could erase them. Live data will go into. And we can view the data. We'll choose complete data set. And here you can see all different functions 
here that the computer reads it says one of 49 so there are 49 different things that this scan tool will pick up just on this car alone we'll go down here to RPM for example it shows zero I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine and now you can see it's showing the current RPM right around 700 which is about normal for this vehicle you can see if I rev it up it changes almost instantaneously and you could also notice the spark advance at the bottom there when it idles it's usually about 17.5 18 and as it's revved up it has to advance the spark timing so it shows you and there's all sorts of information here if you go through this the MAF mass airflow sensor you can see as it's revved it changes and there were a couple of other interesting things I found in here if I go down the list the MIL time or malfunction indicator light time shows how many hours and minutes your check engine light has been on and the clear time where there are no codes shows 308 hours and 40 minutes since it was last reset and you can see here it also has record data and playback data so you can record the data that your car is you know it'll log it in here and then you can play it back so it can be seen on here so if you bring your car to a mechanic with the tool it'll be stored on here and they can look at that and see when the failure occurred the IM readiness which was something I was mentioning before if we go into that we'll choose since DTCs or diagnostic trouble codes were cleared and now it shows this which is kind of what we saw in the beginning the malfunction indicator light is off misfire monitor is okay fuel system monitor okay and you'll see some things like the HTD catalyst at the end NA NA means not available or not applicable so it doesn't matter if that's ready or not so like I was saying with the PO420 code earlier you could clear this and you can get this to the point where enough readiness monitors are showing okay get your car inspected and pass and chances are very good that on the way home the light will come back but at least you wouldn't have to pay for a big repair there's also onboard monitor test you can see that this will show misfires for particular cylinders this is a six cylinder engine so if we choose cylinder three for example that passes cylinder four that passes etc so now instead of having to go to the auto, auto parts store and have the salesman push you around trying to sell you stuff that isn't going to fix your problem and that you don't need you can scan the codes yourself and at least be armed with the information of what it is so when you do bring your car to a mechanic to get it fixed and he tells you one thing but this tells you something else well you can tell him that you already scanned it and you already know what it said and that's not what he's telling you so then you can take your car elsewhere or get him to uh, tell the truth of what's actually going on much easier much faster to do it yourself and it's inexpensive to do so with the Conway KW310. So once again, this was the Conway KW310 OBD2 scan tool. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find this available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.